One week from tomorrow, South Dakota's 2022 legislative session will begin. And tonight we are hearing from various lawmakers to take a look at what you can expect this year in Pierre. Dan Santella brings you the viewpoints from both sides of the aisle in tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Finances are on lawmakers' minds ahead of the 2022 session. We have probably access to more financial resources than we've ever had in the state, so everybody's going to have an idea on what to do with them. I would say the biggest will be the same as last year, the, uh, the funds, the dollars that we have that are um, the CARES Act dollars, um, and then, of course, our excess revenue. We've got, again, a, a big infusion of funds from the federal government related to COVID relief that are going to have to be spent. I think we all know that money is going to be a big issue just because we have a surplus of money coming in. So I'm concentrated on looking at issues that are going to be long-term solutions. Governor Kristi Noem's proposal of 6% bumps in pay for state workers, state aid for education, and funding to health care providers has Rayfeld's attention too. I really hope that a lot of the proposals that the governor had in regards to increases for our state workers come through. I think the 6% is very important, especially considering the rates of infl inflation that we've had. Marijuana is also on legislators' radar. More than 20 proposed bills are already posted online. We'll also be talking about marijuana. I think marijuana uh, recreational marijuana legalization will be a topic. Senator Troy Heinert, a Democrat from Mission, and Representative Tony Randolph, a Republican from Rapid City, each bring up issues dealing with education. On the Senate side, I, I do see some, some conversations of, uh, about, you know, education, education funding, uh, possibly uh, some of the curriculum issues that have been batted around and you know something that I think we're going to bring up is what happened with those social studies standards. But here in South Dakota we don't we don't call it critical race theory. We don't actually label it that. Um, but I will say absolutely on the record it is a divisive thing that's taking place in our society and and, and it being implemented in our, in our society. And I think that at least here in South Dakota it's something we should deal with Randolph wants to see COVID-19 vaccine mandates and exemptions addressed as well. As a legislature, I think we really need to deal with that. There are a lot of people in South Dakota that are struggling with this. While different bills will have lawmakers and the public's attention, there's also the ongoing matter of the potential impeachment of South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. The process is moving forward, so I think that's going to be a big story coming up here when we get to peer. At the same time our regular session is going on, you know, there's uh, the impeachment proceedings, where we're at with that. Uh, I think that will take a lot of oxygen. All topics considered, the beginning of 2022 promises to be active in peer. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. And the legislative session begins in peer next Tuesday.